Is it bad if baby skips crawling? In the West, we started putting babies down on the floor to explore and play. In many cultures, the baby is carried around everywhere in a sling. I don't see how this relates to my question. Babies only learn to crawl if they are left alone on the floor for long periods of time. In cultures where kids are carried all the time, they don't learn how to crawl. What do they do? They learn to sit up well, because they are carried in that position from an early age. When they start to get too heavy to carry much, they are old enough to start walking. Those infants skip crawling then. And some Western babies do too, especially if they have lots of toys already within arm's reach. What do puppies and older siblings count as? Entertainment, to a baby. But the baby may learn to scoot a little to grab things without formally crawling all over the house. All the parenting books I've read say something is wrong if the baby isn't crawling at nine months. If you are concerned about development, look at the other indicators. Does the baby know a few words at nine months old, and is she interacting with other children? She interacts with everyone. There are early indicators of autism like no big smiles at people by six months old and having as much interest in things as people. But your child sounds on track for mental development. I'm concerned about physical development. Crawling is just one metric, and it isn't universal. Can the baby grab things and pick them up? And put them in her mouth. Then you should only be concerned if her language development seems slow or she's slow to start walking. Then it sounds like she's about to pop up and start walking, before we've realized we need to start baby proofing. Start on it now or she'll be in it before you realize she can get to it.